Lucky that wheel bug doesn't want to eat him. I'm not sure what the wheel bug is. I think that it's important, but I'm not sure if it's mm -hmm. because he's shy. Well, I got the, with the help of Mikey, got the rest of the chicken wire down around the perimeter. <coughs> and my honey is putting the rest of the screening up on either side of that. Burning a little more debris. And then hopefully the UPS guy will be here soon with my 100 foot of hardware cloth. Yeah, there's chicken wire down there. So we got screening all the way around now. Adding the trim. Adding the final thing here. Cool. I don't know if it's the final one, but. Oh, did it go to the end? Yeah, it's very, very uneven ground there. Uh, you want that brick under this foot? Let me see if I can. No spider near me, right? Uh, no, she's no, in the other tree. It's on top of there. Mm -hmm. There we go. Huh? Hit it hard. It's wobbly. You're over the last one. I'm over the last one. You're not. You still need to keep going. I'm just saying you're over the top of the two by four. That is a, no, here's what I got. That other piece. I need the uh, the little short piece of stainless, like an actual breathing piece. Mikey is going to cut a wedge in the leaning side and then cut it down from the other side. Let's gonna hope see. all goes well. Yeah, kind of a first time doing this kind of thing. It's not like so. there's anything out there that can be damaged, so we're okay. Let's find out. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, about two feet up. Height for a bench or? Yeah, about two feet up. Right in, right in there is good. Hey, Mikey. Michael. Michael. Um, Dad had mentioned you need to remember to hit the oil button every now and then to keep it oiled. It's the big round button in front of you by your thumb. Oh, just just pump it once or twice? Yeah.
that's going to go that way. It's not going to go that way. So you kind of know that, right? Close enough. <laughs> Not, uh, but not exactly to, being super precise. Yeah, it, the really the wedge needs to be bigger, right. deeper. Okay, you can probably just push on it. And then again, maybe not, because it got hung up on that tree pretty good. You have to cut the other one now. Yeah. Now the other one should miss the other one, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know it's not that. Well, you know. You want to you want to cut the third one first, and then cut the one in the middle, so there's no chance of it getting hung up. Yeah, but that tree's okay. That tree's alive. Yeah. Don't want to get that away from the other one. Just a couple broken branches. No. I would cut the third one, honey. Yeah, someone has to keep an eye here that somehow this one's just has fall. Yeah. Well, well gonna... we're going to be right here, and it's probably not going to go anywhere because you're not cutting you that one. The thumb the same height then? Yeah. 18 to 24 inches. Do you have enough rope? Should have. Oh, hold on. Oh, watch these ashes, Mikey. Actually, you might want to get the hose out. There's some big ones floating up. Yeah, they are. They're oak. Uh. Going down. <laughs> it got hung up too. Oh, that's funny. Can you push it, Mikey? Uh, get some rope on it so I can twist right. it away. Try to push it. See if it'll come down. It's only on that little oh, branch well, up there. You can have a little push back, I think. Well, you want to push to the right. Hmm? No, you want to push to the left. You want to bring it this way. This way, right? You want to bring it this way. So you get this way, to the right. Yes. Right. Left, so get on the other side of the tree and push it this way. Yeah, Not no, just. Uh, 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 no, it's angling into that tree. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, pu uh, pushing left pushes it against that tree. I want to push it out and away from it. Yeah. I know what I'm thinking. That, that is on the right side of the tree. It is on the right side of the tree. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing. All right, we're gonna throw, throw the yellow rope over it and pull, okay? All right. What's he doing? Let's see if we can knock it loose. Well, what if we get through this rope? Come back away from it because if it comes down, it's going to land on you. How do we do that so we don't fall on top of it? I say, 
stand at the end of the rope and pull. Michael can pull it while you chop it, and it should fall. Other piece is still hanging up there. You can use those logs to line the line my nature trail. Cool. That'll be the beginning of the nature trail. Right there. Well, it's not going to go until you start cutting the backside. So if you cut the wedge. Cut the wedge and then go that way. Yeah. yeah. And then, how do I know to be, and you could, and I'm, I, I can, I'm keeping an eye on it to see if I see the thing, but I'm not going to see that tree doing something funky. We'll yell at you. But, <laughs> You probably don't have to worry about anything until you've cut the wedge. Go we'll okay. stand over there, so if, if he needs to, you can yell at him from over there. Uh, yeah. And really, the fact that I'm going that way should be over. Which should go in. You couldn't hear me. Mm. I yelled at you like five times. Which one was moving first? This one. one was cut? Oh, no. Yeah, you could see it was um, the pressure was making it go. Awesome. Awesome. Very cool. That looks really good. <coughs> you did good, babe. Sure. That, is, <laughs> that is three more logs done, and later we can. Move them over to your trail. Yeah. Not sure how you're gonna get rid of them. I'm gonna use them to line the trail. Yeah.